Farage and wants to meet with the Prime Minister urgently. We have more from Melissa Williams. Scores of former cane farmers are slowly making their way to see the Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Basasa. On Tuesday, the cane farmers were in Chaguanas. Many could not hide their anger about their situation. Spokesman for the group Thomas Sotillo says cane farmers were assured they would receive millions of dollars owed to them following the closure of Karani. But to date, he says, this is yet to happen. And adding salt to their wounds, he says, is a food production minister who's accusing them of having a political agenda. Instead of these people beating them out and making this into a political issue, they need to come to the table and deal with the issue. It's $899 million that is owed to these people. The former cane farmers were joined by members of the old Trinidad Sugar and General Workers Union. The union says former Karani workers and cane farmers will put up a united front in this fight. It says it's high time the Prime Minister gets involved. It seems that they have forgotten that there are thousands of ex-Karani workers still waiting for their lands, still waiting, waiting for leases and still waiting for approvals. And also, very importantly, it seems as though the government is turning a blind eye to the issue of the Karani Green Initiative. The former cane farmers will continue their trek to the Prime Minister's office in the hope of finally getting what they say has been a long-standing issue resolved. Melissa Williams, CNC3. Fish markets